Thank you all for donating. And we're going to be starting the race up here in just a short little time. Just know we have about like 30 seconds left on that donation. So get it in quickly. All right. Welcome back to the Celeste block, everybody. And we are going to be racing the expert heart side between Parrot Dash and Issy. I'm going to let them take it away. So go right ahead. Gonna do the com uh, uh yeah commentary. Call here, we was. Oh wait, I can hear you now. Yo. Oh, what? I couldn't hear you at first, but I can hear you now. Yeah, you're All right. good. Hi, uh my name is Chloe. Uh I've been playing Celeste for a few years, and I have a little bit of experience playing expert heart side and I, I was attempting to do the Golden Port for a little while. I've played the level a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this race between Parrot and Izzy. They're both extremely experienced with this level. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this race. Uh, and hey, I'm Savadra. I was on comms earlier and I'm back uh, to give some excitement and cheer to this glorious race, this glorious level uh, in this glorious lobby of this glorious mod. Very glorious, epic all around. Uh, it's gonna be some very exciting stuff we we can hopefully talk about for this uh, for this level. All right. Guess we should have a countdown. Yep. Uh, yeah. We can count. Want me to do the countdown, or who's going to uh, do the countdown? One, one second. All right. Cont controller, please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Last second controller difficulties. True, true. You should fix that before the race starts. <laughs> it worked two <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> okay, we're, we're fine. We're good, we're good. Awesome. All right, count us down. All right, on go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good yeah, look, luck and have fun. Okay. So getting into the expert hard side, we were able to, or you were able to hear about it a little bit at the end of the beginner hard side race, but in case you're coming in uh, just now, the hard side is a culmination level of all of the mechanics that are displayed, are shown through levels in the lobby. So this is going to be a pretty big, like, conglomeration level with a lot of different mechanics shown well, it'll be kind of blasting through a lot so we've already breezed through flag 29 because there are 29 levels in uh, expert lobby so it kind of goes quick uh, that was hydroshock and flag they're on right now is uh, system invalid map which is a uh, focus around dream spinners They're very cool Hey, the extra lobby is the, the largest lobby in Strawberry Jam with 29 maps, so... Yes, very big. Uh, lots of stuff to uh, unpack in this in this level. Both players are going to get towards the end of that. And let's go, Aziz is going to head into the Hypnagogia flag, uh, which is a... <laughs> Well, where the first big skip of the level shows up, uh, you can just skip half of the level, uh, or half of the flag rather, and uh, with a pretty precisely placed uh, extension, because these dream blocks let you redirect in the middle of them if you have a dash, so you just kind of kind of move through it. I love these transitions too. Uh, it's kind of, kind of a unique thing about Expert Heart Side, but nearly. In between nearly every flag, there's a cool little transition that kind of features elements of uh, both flags. Yeah, it's, it's, this level's really cool. This level and is like, beautiful. <laughs> as a casual experience, it's awesome. 
and they just flew right past Flight 26, changing direction, where you just have a bunch of move blocks that change directions with all these like background tiles. And then Flight 25, the Bounce Helper, everyone loves Bounce Helper, and uh, this also ends up reversing some of your mechanics, so like hypers become supers and supers become hypers. It's uh, mildly confusing to get used to at first, but with enough practice you can. Both these players are very experienced with uh, doing this map deathless. Um, Carrot has gotten the golden, and Izzy has made substantial progress with the golden, so they're both very good at not dying to these screens. Um, so I'm interested in seeing how much they'll sacrifice consistency for speed. Yeah, um, that'll be very interesting to see, because Parrot did go for uh, a newly yeah. found skip at the end of uh, the bounce off the flag here. I'd oh, actually never seen that before. That was that came straight from uh, the new task, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it may not have been. But there are a couple of new things that had come from uh, the very recent expert heart side task. Uh, now, flag 24, start of checkpoint two. This is Caper Cavortion, everyone's favorite jumpless map. Yes, you cannot jump in this map, which is why the movements may look kind of strange. This screen is pretty brutal. It has a bunch of tight timings. Parrot was able to move through it with ease. So, okay, so, <laughs> so they like GSA'd out of that flag, <laughs> like for me. That was so clean. But move into Subway Neon. I love what Parrot did there. You don't have to use the block on the right at all. It's completely optional. You can skip it. And but Subway Neon features these curved uh, zip movers. And it's, uh, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Um, one of my personal favorites coming up, uh, Core Problem, Flag 22. The uh, core mechanics, but you uh, also have like these core bubbles that switch between the long boosters and the short boosters. It's, uh, it's really cool. I actually really like uh, the way Core Problem plays itself. Also, the music in the main level is super banger. Unfortunate missed time dash at the end, and now Izzy is back in the lead. Can I jump back, jump in real quick here? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, our generous donator, who is doubling all of our incentives or all of our donations that are coming in, has agreed to continue doing it until the end of the Celeste block. So if you still want your donation doubled, you can get it in now until the end of the task. That is massive. Thank you, awesome. generous donator. We get those donations in for all these awesome gamers doing these awesome things. Fly right past the uh, core problem flag into meaningless contraptions, which is a bit of a mixed mechanic thing. Uh, main standout mechanic is the like throwable fish jars, which we will see again later on. I can explain those more in detail. Right now, Izzy will move on to flag 20. Yeah, 20, right? I'm not miscounting, right? Surely. Surely. Yeah, this is Madeline the Bubble. Uh, it's a pretty awesome fish uh, fish tech map. Also known as Theo the Bubble, some people call it. Theo the Bubble Jump Scare. Because Theo is trapped in a bubble, as you can see. And just like that, we're just straight into checkpoint 3. So, it's like... Yeah, the, these, the level is like long on its own, but all of these mini sections go by really fast, so... Uh, there isn't a whole lot to talk about in this midsection in terms of strats. Uh, primary directive is uh, players are going to use their practice and consistency to just get through. Uh, this is still very difficult gameplay, as best as they can. So in this screen, pressing grab causes these gates to open and close, so... That's what they're doing, they're not just opening and closing on their own. Yeah, this map combines grab and that grab button feature. Then we get into time trouble, flag 18, which uh, uses the little time stop crystals to give Madeline like a, uh, a brief period of like, uh, of movement before she's teleported back to where it spawned, or where she picked it up and then straight into Flying Battery, which is just a an airship-themed throwable level revolving around the batteries. 
which you throw into the power socket sort of make the doors open. So uh, this would probably be a good bit of time with the uh, lull in mechanics because there's uh, not a whole lot in terms of complexity here. This would be a good time for a quick donation. Sounds good. Uh, we got uh, two quick donations. One from Anonymous, who is matching the d Anonymous donator, who is matching us. They donated $166 and says, thanks for all the donations, everyone. Who knows, maybe we can hit 10K. We are very close to that. In fact, we're almost over 9,000. We also have a $13 donation from Non-Binary Code, who says, words, trans rights. Remember, everyone, that we still have the doubling incentive because it's been extended until the end of the Celeste block. So until the end of the task, if you donate $2, it's worth $4. Very big. Thank you. Um, and Parrot was in the lead a bit, but he, he was struggling a bit with that uh, flying battery screen, and they're right back to dead even, so this is a pretty close race. Very close. Yeah, both of these players very fluent in this level, and it shows. Yeah, moving out of flying battery, this is Clockwork. Clockwork focuses around the uh, moving touch switch, or touch switch gates. Uh, and there are like different speeds where you move them at, uh, depending on their color. It is a very cool mechanic, honestly. I really liked the gameplay flow of Clockwork. And then... He's moving into the uh, the floating point flag, which is one of the hardest flags in the uh, heart side, in my opinion. There's just lots of little timings and things that you can mess up. You can see yeah. she's actually opting to dash into the walls and then do a reverse off these crumble blacks, which is slightly slower, but definitely a lot safer. Yes, yeah, so avoid any deaths on the screen, which she does. It's worth talking about and very quickly in the prospect of the expert hard side golden net. Uh, floating point was for a good while uh, one of the like hardest flags to solve, and so this is what you're seeing is the culmination of all of the effort that not just Parrot and Izzy, but all of the people go who have contributed strats. There are uh, so many different ways to cheese that screen or do things unintended or to make it safer. And that holds true for a good few places as well. Oh. Like in Vinculum, uh, Flag 14. Uh, yeah. the, the jelly gameplay with the unique mechanic of being able to dream hyper while holding a, a throwable. You cannot do this in any other place. It's really funny too, at the end of this Vinculum screen, there's like a gate and you're supposed to hit all these buttons to open the gate, but you don't have to. Yeah. Parrot <laughs> did, didn't. Izzy did it. It's, just, it's, it's completely optional. They're just a... They're, they're, they're a recommendation. They're not a... Concrete. Then, on to the next flag, Storm Runner. Uh, this is the throwable checkpoint, by the way. Uh, we're in the... Like, the epic throwable checkpoint. Uh, you get these dashes that spawn jellyfish in clouds. And Izzy is moving on to the flag that represents my personal favorite level in... Pretty much all of the club! Skyline Usurper. For those who know, I am a big Skyline Usurper fan. Uh, and it features these little Mario propeller blocks that you can propel up with. And while holding them, and it's like I'm Kaizo curious. juggling. It's very cool. I'm curious to see what they do on Polaris. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, Polaris has some lore, doesn't it? So, Polaris is extremely cheesable. If you choose to, you can just bypass the entire intended route. Uh, and just use a jellyfish to go all the way to the end of the screen. But I it is a lot slower. I believe so. that uh, the former cheese with the like fish jar skip was patched uh, in one of the recent patches, so they will probably not be opting to do a lot of Oh, wait, I lied. <laughs> it's, it's actually... It's actually happening. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh really unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, that looks it's intense. The re -grab. But all right, uh, yeah, I, I spread slander and misinformation. Yeah, it features these uh, uh, fish jars again, which uh, have the effect of being thrown in that like orange field, and then they explode like normal puffer fish. Or uh, yeah. Parrot's moving on to my personal uh, favorite map in the collab, which is uh, Summit Downside. This map the is really funny. It, all tech is disabled. You can't hyper, you can't wall bounce, uh, you can't even grab onto walls. 
It's, yeah. it's just it's very similar to a getting over it uh, body and style gameplay where uh, there's no checkpoints, but if you die, you can, or if you fall, you can fall a really long way. Yeah, and it shows. Her was almost got at the these, end. He's got these green springs that don't refund your dash, so if you get hit hit by them, you're probably gonna fall. <laughs> uh, we're doing it. And then into Fortress Fall. Uh, another another room that has like a pretty new strat. Uh, from the expert hard side tasks, uh, there it is. but there are also uh, some other strats as an alternative. Where we'll be going for that one. I was able to transcribe the actual ta like the task strat, which is a like uh, pixel precise uh, zero frameable demo to skip half the room. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> of skipping half the room, uh, Black Eight, you can definitely do that. Oh yeah. Flagate is a classic. Uh, features these uh, extra time stops that are also activated with the grab button, uh, but the uh, difference between this one and Golden Alleyway is you can't grab at all, so the mechanic is a lot more fluid. Uh, but this was found like day one, I think, or like day two, yeah. something very early on. Uh, very cool strat shown there. And then into the hard stuff, Mosaic Garden. This flag is brutal. I would not be surprised to see both of them die once or twice to it at least. Also, because it's happening in chat, shout out to Spirialis, yes. Yeah, Mosaic Garden focuses around a lot of inputs uh, in almost bufferable fashion in most places. Uh, in some places are legitimately bufferable. But, uh, yeah. See the like few ways to do the last section here. One's gonna opt for I think the like fast like just go for it. The other one's going to do upright demos to get some of the coins. Difference is trapped there. They're just neck and neck. Yeah they are. Just real close. Narrow Hollow is a map that is very narrow and about like doing specific setups in order to fit the gaps in precise manners. I'm gonna quick jump in here. Uh, we just hit nine thousand dollars. We're at nine thousand two hundred and two dollars currently, which is insane. Are y'all just at like seven thousand recently? Like, yeah, we were just at seven thousand. We're now at nine thousand two hundred and two dollars. That's insane. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, the final checkpoint of Expert Hard Side here. This this level went by very quick, but yeah, that's the power of. Being consistent, uh, Ethereal Ascension, a somewhat controversial map in terms of like opinions. Uh, I, I I liked it. Uh, it's a little funny at times, but I like the map. Uh, but it features these like lanterns that have like something of reverse gravity, or like they like float. I still don't, uh, I don't understand them. I just do what the indicators tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're kind of silly. The map is pretty easy to read because it does kind of tell you what to do most of the time, but it's very counterintuitive. Is he's trying to save this missed wall bounce. Can she do it? Uh, she gives up, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, like rough death there prepared in flag four, the Kutara flag, Garden of Kutara, the second garden of Expert. Expert is naturally known as the colloquial nature flag, obviously, for the nature lobby. Uh, but Garden features these uh, blue blocks with uh, that feature springs on sides of blocks, and then the red blocks, which uh, increase your momentum from doing speed tech. Looks very oh. pretty, inspired by Hyper Light Drifter. That was a cool little safe strike. That was a cool little safe strike up here. There. Yeah. Strat has come into dominance recently. Para, or not Para, Izzy will just go for it, and again, they're neck and neck. <laughs> yep. It's a Flag 3 Plasma Reactor uh, featuring the If You Dash, You Die lasers. Fun fact about this flag is that it's already a long flag. It used to be like 15 seconds of gameplay longer, but then it was decided no, that's a little bit too much. Let's trim it down a little bit. Jeez. It's still one of the longest imagine. flags in the hard side. Yeah, that strat is kind of special. Uh, Isaac found that strat for the extra hard side gold nurse. Shout out to Isaac today at the start of flag three. Ooh, 
through unfortunate death for Izzy right at the end of the flag. And then into flag two, chromatic complex. This map is uh, one of the banger maps of all time. Features the uh, dash orbs, which if you dash in them, you get your dash refresh. Uh, and it's also momentum boosted, so you get a longer dash for them. And there's also these auto jumps that automatically make you jump in the air. Carrot's moving on to flag one. Oh, looks like you're gonna die, but it actually teleports you out. The last second. <laughs> that that looks like me my first time through the map. I was really mad. I thought I was dead. <laughs> yeah, flag one, psychokinetic, funny mushrooms. Uh, these mushrooms amplify the speed you get from doing dash tech and or uh, doing stuff out of dream blocks, uh, which is very clearly shown. This parrot will go flying. Like parrot is running away with this one. And that's that. Now it's just the epilogue section for parrot. Parrot is going to do one cool thing here that you might uh, not notice if you don't really know what this normally looks like. Right in a, in a little bit, he's going to enter this portal faster than they expect you to. And that port, here it is. Yep. He just got teleported to the middle of the room instead of the beginning of the room. Because nice. he entered that portal really fast. That saves and a few seconds. There you go, with the hard okay. ultra first try. Parrot Huge. Dash, finishing with the 1736, a very respectable time. GG, Parrot. That was a very good run, and let's keep on cheering on Izzy, who's about to enter flag one, just very close behind. GG. GG. That corner boost at the start of flag one is honestly like deceptively difficult. Like oh, it is really very hard. easy to miss time there. Let's go, Izzy. Let's go. She's got it this time. Oh my! What? <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh, that's one of the ways. If that to was on purpose. Is she showing off? That's hilarious. If not, oh my god, incredible. <laughs> <She's> really funny. <laughs> oh, I've never seen anybody get bounced like that right there. You can kind of just like infinitely go back and forth after you build speed until you go too fast. That is awesome. Yeah. Good to see. And Izzy will finish with 1841. GG's to both of these players. Very good at this level. Very hard level to be good at. Respectable on both fronts. That was insane to watch. GG's. Yeah, thank you all. Uh, any shout outs before we head off here? Shout outs to Gay Fox Girls. <laughs> <laughs> so true. That's all I got. All right. I think that's about it. Thank you all. It was a great race to watch. All right. I think we're going to transfer back over here to a brief intermission before we get into the tasks. So.